Mel there we f***ing go. Jesus Christ. It seems that every decade ever since their inception, video games have been following trends and working off each other's innovations. I mean, you got the 80s. I mean, you got the 80s that saw the platformers appear and uh, games like The Legend of Zelda made it possible for video games to portray stories. We began seeing more story-driven games that were not bound to the same rotation of screens that were start, game, and high score. The 90s <laughs> saw the rise of 3D games and the myriad of possibilities that that brought along. Many publishers didn't even know what to do with a whole new dimension in the virtual space. We saw a first person shooter really start to make a name for itself, with games such as GoldenEye, Doom, Perfect Dark entering the market in the 90s. The 2000s yeah, you. were a mishmash of genres popping up everywhere. I mean, you had your 3D platformers, your, your first, your third person shooters, your button mashers. I mean, it, it, was, it was insane. But then a strong trend began to take hold of the reins. That trend was online based games. With games such as Call of Duty and Halo being bought and marketed solely on the premise of its online play, developers really began to adding online functionality to a myriad of titles. I mean, you started seeing, you know, MOBAs pop up. You started seeing MMOs like really take hold of the market. You started seeing countless and countless first person shooters. And the decade we just left in the past, the 2010s? Is that what we're calling it? The tens? Perfect. On the road doing ten toes. Lava toes. No. The teens? I, I think I think we'll just call it. We'll just call it the 2010s for now. It sounds a lot better than the teens. The last decade saw less than favorable trends such as pay to win games, loot boxes, microtransactions, and many other heavy money based trends which left a very bad taste in a lot of gamers mouths so what's in store for the upcoming decade in gaming trends well in this video i'm gonna give my very uneducated opinion in what i believe we will begin seeing in the 2020s i really believe and this is based just on trends i've been seeing online is that virtual reality games are gonna start taking a larger footprint in the gaming space. With the increasing accessibility to these type of games, it's only logical that this takes a hold of the mainstream platforms. With newer technology making it easy to drop the player into photorealistic worlds, and even in large community-based games, the appeal only seems to be getting higher. And I might be a bit biased though. I recently played with one of my co-workers, Valve Index VR system, and holy shit. I have been converted bro, straight up. Playing VR was one of the most fun times I've had playing video games in a very long time. Secondly, I predict more and more independent developers will begin taking a bigger presence in the market. With mainstream platforms such as the Nintendo Switch increasing its support of indie developers, it is only a matter of time that we'll begin seeing bigger companies offloading their IPs even to smaller developers. We're already seeing this with, for example, Luigi's Mansion 3 having been developed by Next Level Games. Uh, you see this with the eShop being flooded by indie games. And with more and more crowdfunding games being put on the market than ever before, I really do believe people are gonna start seeking out these more independent video games. Another prediction is that hopefully we finally get rid of gimmicks of video game consoles. We've had it all. Motion controls, connect, plastic guns, plastic wheels, plastic steering wheels. But hopefully video game companies finally begin to realize what people really want. And that's just fun games. A lot of us do not care how you control these video games. We don't care too much how we interact with the games anymore. Even though I just said that VR is the best thing ever, I still believe that the best way to play a video game is either with a keyboard and mouse or a controller. And finally, for my last prediction, 
and be prepared. Shit's about to get a little bit cynical. But I really hope we see an end to rehashed ideas. I hope we see an end to ports. I even hope we see an end to remakes. I know, shocking. But honestly, I think these kinds of games really do a disservice to new ideas to flourish. I think this will always be the easiest thing to do. To always keep porting and remaking old IPs is a very lazy way to make money. But at the end of the day, people are craving something new. We've had what is essentially over a decade of nothing but rehashed ideas. And as my second point, I really do hope that new IPs start taking precedence over old IPs. We need and we crave new ideas for games. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very short video. It has been a lot less scripted than my previous videos, but I just needed to get something out there. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think there's going to be a lot more new IPs coming out in this decade? Or are we still going to be seeing more remakes? Do you think VR games are going to be the next big thing? You let me know. I've been True Fernie. If you like this video, please make sure to like it. If you didn't like this video, please make sure to dislike it. Every bit helps. Links to my socials are down below. Please make sure to follow me on Twitch. I try and stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays. Appreciate y'all, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.